Hey guys, Sunny back with another video, and today I will be showing you how to root a Samsung Galaxy Tab E Lite 7 inches. And this is very simple. You're going to need a computer. As you can see, I do have a computer here. And you're going to need a uh, tablet, of course. Um, the Samsung Galaxy T113, I believe it is. T113, and it's the Galaxy Tab E Lite 7.0. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need to go into the Play Store, and I forgot to mention that you're going to need the actual wire that came with the tablet. Um, you can use an unofficial wire or some other phone's wire, but um, just letting you know there could be a risk of the tablet getting disconnected from the computer, so I don't want uh, anything to do with um, what happens to your tablet. So what you want to do is just search for Root Checker, after doing that, just click on the first one and just install that, okay? And I have it saved right here. Next thing you want to do is hold the uh, power off button so it powers the tablet off. Okay. So what you want to do now is hold the power button, the home button, and the volume down button at, all at the same time. So let's ready, set, go. And this is the screen that should pop up. It should say, warning, a custom OS can cause critical problems, but we're not installing a custom operating system. Um, if you want to download a custom OS, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. You can either click volume up to continue, volume down to cancel if you're having second thoughts about this. All this does is just root your device, um, and that is basically all this does. So, after doing that, we're going to click on um, volume up, okay? So let's click on volume up, and this is what should pop up. Downloading, do not turn off target, okay? Now, nothing's downloading just yet. You're going to need to install the files. As you can see, I do have right here. Um, let me focus this quickly. Okay, so here's Odin is the program we're going to be using. And the root file that we need to flash is this. So I will leave both of these in the description below. And so uh, what you want to do is open up Odin here. And just click yes if, if that prompts you. Now, all you want to do is connect your device and just leave it in download mode. Just connect it. There you go. And it would show, it will show this blue here. Okay, so let me just cancel that. Um, see if I can resize this. You'll probably be able to see it, but it will show blue and it should say like zero colon com four. And that means it's uh, ready to be flashed. Anything is ready to be flashed on this. So after doing that, um, after making sure that is ready, you want to click on PDA. Okay? So click PDA. And just go to your desktop to where you saved that flash file. As you can see, it's right here. This is the flash file. And you just want to click on PDA. Click on desktop. And here's the flash file, Inception, Samsung, GOI of Wi-Fi, and that is the flash file. So just click on Open, and it should say, uh, all of this enter, click, check MD5, um, checking, leave CS. Don't worry about that. Um, so all you want to do is just make sure this, check, this box is checked, and uh, you're pretty much all set to go. So... All you're going to need to do is, this will, tr I'll try to put this on screen here, but all you're going to need to do is click on start here. So let's click start. And if this shows blue and it says recovery, and this is green all the way through, and if you see removed, don't worry if your screen is flashing like this. Do not worry, everything is fine. It's just flashing a custom recovery, and it's installing the root file. So as you can see, it is back to normal, and it's just rebooting. As you can see, 
And after doing that, it should say removed, uh, rest okay, removed, and all of that. And you'll see something saying Android is upgrading starting apps. It's not actually upgrading. It just puts it back to the home screen. Now, all you want to do is just swipe to unlock, okay, and select root checker, that app that we installed to check our root. And uh, just click agree if this is the first time opening it. Just click OK then. And just click on verify root. And you should get a pop up saying um, Super Sue wants to grant access or whatever. Something like that. So it does take some time though. Okay, so I did figure out some. Uh, uh, work around here if that was taking forever open up super su or super su if you don't see it on your desktop I mean your um, home page here click on the apps tab and swipe over and then you'll see like this Icon there or you'll probably see something like um, a Superman chest icon or whatever But as long as it says super su you're all set to go now you can unplug your your cable from the device and now all you want to do is just click on root checker again and then click verify root and it should prompt you like grant access or whatever i already did that so just click grant and it should say congratulations root access is properly installed on this device device smt113 android version 4.4.4 now it is that easy and uh that is it all you need to do I will be making videos so if you do want to click on super suit just click on continue for the SU binary needs to be updated click click that and uh, you just click on normal so just wait for it to install and then it will probably reboot your tablet but it doesn't really matter but that is it here um, there's nothing really else to show you guys that is how you root the Samsung Galaxy tab Elite 7.0 SMT113, and uh, it was pretty simple and easy. All you want to click is reboot. I'm just going to click OK for the sake of this video right now, and uh, that is it. So there's there's different tutorials on like how to uh, patch games and how to uh, hack them with apps and stuff. So you could check out that video, and I will be uploading more videos on rooting apps and uh, all of that. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope this was successful for you uh, with this process. Currently, if you do not have a computer, then uh, you can't root this tablet because there is no uh, way to root this tablet just yet without a computer. Um, I haven't came across it yet, but you can try Googling it. But this is the method I found that was the easiest one, Odin 3, which I've used my tablet um, this Galaxy Tab 4 to do, and I was just doing the Galaxy Tab E Lite 7.0. Um, and that is it, so thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys were successful in this process, and, uh, hope to see you next time. Peace.